America versus China, ChatGPT versus DeepSeek. Which one of them can create the better Minecraft technology add-on from scratch? You already know the rules. There's 45 minutes on the clock. Time starts now, and we're starting with ChatGPT. Please make me a Minecraft mechanical technology pack that adds useful technology to the game. All right, and you guys love to roast me for my prompts. I've gone ahead and made myself this nice template that should get us a better outcome. And we'll give it extended thinking even for this first prompt. Now I did ask it to get me five clarifying questions. You guys said that should help a lot. All right, handful of questions answered. We'll send that off and now we wait. Man, it thought for six minutes, 10 seconds, and it spit out a download link, which ChatGPT has been doing this lately, and I'm loving it. A mid-game mechanical technology add-on. It adds a water wheel, shaft, gearbox, clutch, and a crusher. Oh, so it's gone with a different technique. Instead of just giving me a straight add-on like it's done in the past here, it's giving me this zip folder, and then with the behavior pack and resource pack, we can copy it to these developmental folders, which is easier to edit the code because it just reloads often but I'm actually a big fan of this I also just want to look at the code a little bit before we hop in over 350 lines of code that's insane and after generation and all that it took 24 minutes left I think that's plenty of time to figure this out hopefully there's not too many errors because that would be rough it's kind of a weird pack icon ChatGPT's definitely got a style I guess and it did want the beta script API so we'll give it that and then we'll activate the resource pack and then let's see if this works. Eee, that looks like a lot of errors. All right, this is definitely an issue. I want to see if the blocks even show up. Okay, well, there's a water wheel here. The errors get in the way. But we have a block. I'm going to have to try and troubleshoot these errors before we actually look at anything because this is practically unplayable. I seem to be getting this error constantly when in the world with the pack. Can you fix it? It is a lot of errors, but I think it actually looks like it's just missing one function, which is actually pretty good, all things considered. Pretty quickly, it seems to diagnose the error and it's giving me the fix. All right, I'm not getting any errors. Let's see. We have water wheel, crusher, gearbox, shaft, and a clutch. Okay, yeah, just those five items. Now let's start testing it, but we need water. So the water wheel is meant to go along water. I think that's the updated position. Like when it's not by water and then it gets this texture when it is by water. It's a little ugly, but we'll take it. And then the shaft is how we move energy from here. You can propagate power through shafts, but only along their axis. So maybe we need to make sure that the shaft is facing the right direction. Ooh, okay, did you see that? So this is the shaft when it's not powered and this looks like it is powered. Huh, okay. This texture doesn't look like it's perfectly aligned like here at the corners. So I've brought some water in here. We put a water wheel right in the middle and on top of it, we put shafts like this. So those are bringing power out of the water wheel. Now the gearbox is used to turn corners. Okay, so if we put a gearbox right there, it's got power it looks like, and then we can Oh, wait. Oh, okay. And then we can bring the power out sideways. It looks like the texture for the shafts didn't quite work this direction. We can send it through a clutch, which is supposed to have custom API. So you're supposed to be able to right click to turn it on and off, but you can hear it doesn't really work. But I found out if you place a block on it, like it, it changes. <laughs> I'm sure we can fix that one. And the crusher is the end product. So that is not a great texture, man. <laughs> but the idea is it's supposed to process ores more efficiently. You can drop the items on it and it converts them into two raw ore. Kind of like fortune, but with a mechanical add-on. I wonder if you can convert a whole stack at once. Oh, that's cool. It'll do part of it. So there's... 42 left and it made me 44 that sounds high i can kind of see chargpt's vision here there's definitely some kinks to work out i think the main issue is really these textures these are rough and they don't line up correctly i'm gonna try and send it a screenshot i really wonder if it's gonna be able to tell what it's looking at here outside of this the functionality is here though i've sent the feedback we'll see if it really can handle the textures too well i'm a little unsure but the fact that it got it with no working errors very impressive just first try i'm very interested to see what we can get once we tweak it a little bit so clutch shaft crusher 
turn it on. Okay, yeah, it looks like it works. It does have to like place a block, which is weird. We should tell it about that as well. Okay, it's remade the texture, so they should look a little more Minecrafty, and it's fixed the orientation issue. I'm gonna go test that out. While I do that, I'll let it worry about this clutch toggle feature. Okay, the actual texture does look really good, like next to spruce planks, maybe. You could incorporate this into a build really well. I like that. Next, we have the shaft. The shaft looks identical to the water wheel, actually. <laughs> Not on the top face, but on the sides, it's near identical. They orient like logs now. So whichever way I'm facing, it'll point that direction. That means that we can place this gearbox on top and then bring the shaft this way. Ooh, look at this. So it has the unpowered position correctly, I think. But the second we power it, it messes up the texture. The clutch looks really nice as well. And a crusher. The crusher actually looks pretty interesting, I would say, when it's not powered. But when it's powered, it just looks a little silly. Oh, and my timer just went off. But yeah, it still functions just like it used to. I threw this one last prompt, seeing if it could fix how the clutch block only works when you place a block on it. And it said you should be able to toggle it, but it would rather just add a wrench block, which doesn't really solve the problem. Now, ChatGPT did mention that it should put a range limit so that you can't have one power block powering infinite amounts of shafts. And I kind of wanted to test if it actually did that and how big it is. So here's a giant line of shafts. And in theory, when we connect this in, either they'll all light up or maybe like half of them. We'll see the range. Wow. And the crusher. Yeah, it's still getting enough power here to the end. It seems a little overpowered. Now, I feel like one crucial component of a Minecraft tech mod is that you need to be able to incorporate it into your Minecraft world without it looking disgusting. So I'm gonna try and make a build with these and we'll see how it looks. This might not have been the best idea. I'm not a great builder, but this is what I made. It's supposed to be kind of like after you go to the mines, you bring your stuff here. So if you have iron, you can go up over here and we have the crusher where you can convert your iron into raw iron. Um, honestly, I feel like the blocks themselves fit pretty well. I think it's my building skills that are holding this back. As for the actual tech add-on, I'm not sure ChatGPT did too hot here. It gets like six out of 10, maybe? That's being generous. ChatGPT has been going downhill, but let's see what DeepSeek can pull out here. Now, honestly, I haven't touched DeepSeek since it first came out like over the summer or something. So I'm curious what it can do nowadays. We will start off by giving it the exact same prompt as GPT. Okay, we'll give it a deep seek and there's like no other option. So I guess this is what we're doing. One thing I do remember being really cool about deep seek when it first came out is that it shows its thinking for you like this. Pretty much all the AI models will do that for you now, but I feel like it was ahead of its time, at least in that aspect. It's already writing the code just inside of its thinking bubble. Okay, after all that thinking, it did decide it has five questions for me. Now it should start building something for us. All right, it thought for 131 seconds and it's going for a more Victorian era mechanical automation pack. Stuff like gears, levers, and cranks. It sounds a little more advanced than ChatGPT, so hopefully it can pull it off. I think if it can, this is an easy win for DeepSeek. So it looks like it wants to develop this in phases, starting with the power and generation, and then moving on to stuff like the mechanical blocks, and then polish it off. It's a very different thought process to ChatGPT. And wow, look at this folder structure. That is a lot that we're going to be putting in here. All right, I've gone ahead and I've set everything up. It did write surprisingly little code for how complex its technology ideas were. On top of that, it didn't create any textures for us. It says that we need to do it ourselves. So I'm gonna see if it will create it for us, but I've kind of got my doubts. <laughs> Dude, no way, what? I asked it to make the 16 by 16 textures and it made ASCII art. I don't know what to do with this. I think for the time being, I'll just make a simple texture and paint and we'll run with it to see if it actually works. If it makes something good, maybe I'll try and have ChatGPT convert these ASCIIs into real textures. But honestly, I have no idea what to do with these. I think he just redefined a cube with a custom model. Are we sure about this DeepSeek? 
I have made what feels like a million of these files for DeepSeek. Look at all of these at the top. It is doing some crazy impressive things like making custom geometry for one of its blocks, but it's also just throwing random files in places I don't feel like they belong. So I really am not sure if this is gonna work, but it says we're at a point where we can test it. So I'm gonna open up Minecraft and we'll see if anything happens. Just for reference, that took the whole 40 minutes just to copy and paste all of those files over. <laughs> Holy errors, dude. Let's see if we can get anything. So it looks like after all of that, it has added a whole two items to the game with no textures. Don't do anything, but I think they're more meant to be placed. So that's not surprising. They actually did get the names right, which is kind of impressive because I feel like every AI messes up that part of it. I wanted to see if it got the crafting recipe and it just gave me 64 of nothing. I guess that's a no. Deep Seek passed its 45 minute timer a while ago, but I kind of want to see if any of this actually works. So I'm I'm going to play with it for a little while, see if we can get anything to come out. Still nothing. <laughs> and it somehow messed up the name. That was the one thing it got right. I'm gonna give DeepSeek one more chance. I'll feed it all of these new errors, but if it can't do this, I think that's it for DeepSeek, guys. No way, dude. It wants me to delete everything. I asked if it can just give me a .zip folder with all of these so I don't have to redo it, and it gave me this. <laughs> What? <laughs> nah, guys, this is worse than ChatGPT back in 2023. DeepSeek did not win. 